Hello everyone, welcome to Crop Life Retail Week. This is Paul Shrimp. Today I'm reporting from the InfoAg conference. Like the, the entire office is out this week and we're all at, uh, all at various events. So it'd be good to catch up with a few of the interesting uh, folks that are here at the, the InfoAg conference. And I got with me today David Zock, who is uh, the futurist who presented, uh, presented this morning to uh, a very entertained crowd. We appreciated having you there, David. It was fun. Well, what I, among the things that I thought was really interesting um, about what, what you were talking about was, um, was when you were talking about the, the need, for, the need to, for people to engage. Mm -hmm. It's not just about the, the technology. We can't get too absorbed in the technology, but we need to continually engage people. And that was a great message for Ag, because Ag is really about engaging people. Well, and, you know, the, uh, the world is made up of other people. And, you know, like I asked the audience, how many of you have anything to do with, with, with precision egg? And of course, you know, every hand went up. Well, there are people out there that may have as big of an influence on the future of this arena as the people in the room. And, and so you need to be out there and you need to be engaging and curious and having conversations with them. And one of the things that I found, and I've, I've shared this with you before, is that this is an optimistic group. This is a hopeful group. And that makes them interesting to work with because it's a field that is kind of, it's not in its infancy anymore. It's a toddler or it's starting to, to, to run. And there's so many possibilities. And that's exciting. That's neat to be a part of, to help them think through issues and to help poke them and pull them to get them to think about the bigger world out there. Very interesting, and I, I also enjoy the, the talk, the, the part about curiosity and the, and, and the ongoing need to, to be curious and asking questions. you have some thoughts on some, some of the things that you talked about today? Sure, well, uh, and I will recommend, if I can, the book Curious by Ian Leslie. And it's all about the value of curiosity and why our future depends upon it. And he says, for instance, you know, when we do searches now, you know, basically Google answers the question before we're even finished asking it, and it doesn't challenge us to find out more. Sort of, it sort of like drills a hole, grabs the answer, pulls it out, clean, and it's this answer in isolation. But that's not the way the world works. And when you have really good people, good at what they're doing, they don't just know their little bit. And they can connect with others. So the whole idea of um, well, I, I also um, listened to a book on the way down here that's called A More, Be a More Beautiful Question. And it was all about how we need to be trained to ask better questions. Because, you know, like uh, uh, Pablo Picasso once said, computers are useless. All they give you is answers. Knowing how to ask the right question and then to be actually to, to drill down and find out more, that makes your comprehension so much more viable. And uh, you know when you can connect things, and one of the points that I made in the talk is, wealth is created by connections. And our ability to connect people, things, and ideas, especially people, things, and ideas we didn't think were connectable, that's how you create wealth. And the important sort of qualification is, wealth is that which has value. So it's not just the dollars and cents in your pocket, it's everything we're doing that makes the world a better place. We need more of that, and you can't do it alone. Well, that's a great summary. We appreciate you joining us today, David. And that's all for Crop Life Retail Week. This is Paul Shrimp uh, from the InfoAct Conference. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next week.